have started only a few weeks ago, it feels like, but we've already reached the region tournament stage for Class B girls golf. At Surris Valley today, the top 10 teams and top, top 10 players and top three teams from the region will qualify for state. 12 pole is a par four with almost a right angle turned to the right. Botno freshman Ellie Rubchinski's par putt just didn't have the legs. She'll tap in for bogey currently sharing the lead with her teammate Ava Thornson. 13 hole is one of the easiest on the course, just a straight shot to the pin. Marley Sancher from rugby landed just short of the green, gets on and putts for bogey. Panthers freshman hovering around the top five. 15 hole is a par five with some bushes along the fairway that Ava Thornson found herself stuck in one. Meadow Roberts from Ned Rose putting from the fringe for par and this just isn't right or fair. I would lay down on the green and just blow on this one. No complaints about a bogey. Same group on the 16th hole. Ava Thornson for par. You bet. We go to the 17th hole. That's another par three. Just a straight shot at the pin. Thornson lines up another par putt two in a row. Clubhouse finish on the 18th hole at Surus. Ellie Rubchinski steps up with a five stroke lead. With everyone watching, the freshman from Botno sinks the putt. She's your region four individual champion stars win their second straight region team title. I did not believe that I could ever win regionals when I first started golf, but I just kept working, working hard at the course and just wanted to feel it. Always come in with a positive attitude in every tournament and play your best always and just, I don't know, hit, hit it well. Hit it well. Meadow Roberts from Ned Rose was named the region's senior athlete of the year. Your mental game is the biggest thing. I was so hard on myself and like I had I really bad self-talk, but this year I focused on really good self-talk and I think that has helped me like because I've shot like a 49 on the front and then went 38 on the back. Like good self-talk can go a long way for you. The girls class B state tournament is in Mapleton this year starts Monday, September 25th at the Minot Country Club. The fifth hole is a par three that can play less than 100 yards if you're from the very front tees. It's the 15th handicap hole, which means it's the 15th hardest or fourth easiest hole on the course. Alex Degenstein shows us how he conquers the hole in this week's golf tip. From the Minot Country Club, it's time for Golf Tips, brought to you by Vibeto Orthodontics, New Quarter Services and Rentals, and Legacy Financial Partners of Minot. Hello everyone, my name is Alex Degenstein, and I'm a golf professional here at the Minot Country Club. Uh, so today we're here on hole number five. This hole is a short par three, it normally plays 20 yards downhill, and today we have a strong wind directly into our face. So taking all that into consideration, I've chosen to take two clubs more than I would normally hit, I'm gonna play it back in my stance and just try to play a low shot and try to cut it right through the wind. After that tee shot, we ended up pin high, left of the pin in the rough. So when looking at my chip shot I have in front of me, the green all slopes down and towards the hole. So taking that into consideration, all I should have to do is hit it just onto the green and it should release nicely to the hole. So by doing that, I'm gonna play the ball towards the back of my stance and just try to carry it onto the green. After that shot, the ball released a little more than I would have liked, but it's all about making the comeback putt. So in order to get the best line, I'm gonna stand behind it, get a good read, and just trust my putting stroke. It's a quiet Monday in volleyball. There are only six Class B volleyball matches statewide. One of the two is in Berthold tonight at the Bombers Hangar. It's also Berthold's home opener. Ray has won two matches in a row. First set, Bombers Libera, Jerica Shenfish digs out an attack from Ray senior Erica Telson. Evelyn LeBrun stats for Aubrey Shep gives the home team a 3-0 start to the match. Raiden Askvig serving for Berthold. That's what we call an ace make it a four point lead for Berthold and the Jays call a timeout shortly after. Out of the huddle, Cadence Sargent is serving for Ray. Jays sophomore sneaks it in the sideline. Another ace. We're just handing him out right now. 
Ray came close, but never closed. Ask Big. Looks like she's waiting to set for Shep. No, that was sneaky. Best way to start your home schedule is with a win. Berthold did 